hello everyone this is asmr if today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial okay today i'll show you how to edit photo and i'm going to the open options and i downloaded some stock image uh, today i'll edit this photo and hit the ok button okay uh, it's nice photo but uh, here is too much highlighted areas and uh, shadow is not properly appeared in this photo uh, so that's why uh, this one is a technique or the pro technique to make your photo more uh, professionals and uh, more uh, just shiny or something uh, which is uh, artistic look okay at first make a pro copy by pressing ctrl j and after that go to the filter and camera filter from the camera filter i'll do basic color correction one thing is that uh, those who are using the uh, cs6 version uh, i should tell you uh, just uh, update your pc to the creative cloud version i'm using creative cloud 2017 and you can just buy it from the online of adobe store okay after that uh, let's start here is the basic panels and i already discussed this type of uh, just panels what's the work okay at first the basic panel from the basic panel i'll decrease the exposure a little bit okay after that contrast i'll increase to your four percent okay seven percent is good press the alter button and highlight slider i will i'll de-highlight this one when the all the dot gone from the screen just leave it okay after that shadow i'll just give some shadows like that here is shadow is uh, too much shadow in this photo that's why i'm making it minus 10 okay, that's good and white press the alter button and when you are getting some dots in a skin uh, just leave it okay after that same press the alter button and hold it slider when the all just all the um, uh, yellow dots appear on your screen just leave it that's good okay after that i'll go to the temperature and tint temperature here is warm tone i won't make it warm tone just make it minus one or two i'm i'll make it cool and plus three this is the common technique minus three and plus three when you are giving minus seven suppose minus seven and you should give here plus seven it's a uh, hidden technique okay the sharpening amount i'll increase and add some luminance of noise reducer and mm, luminance of color okay after that i'll go to the vignette or effects option i'll add some vignette mm, okay a little bit and adjust this one here is the haze and dehaze option if you want to dehaze or haze you can do you can make it clear okay dehaze i'll make it five okay that's good and then the hsl option i'll just decrease the luminance of green and decrease the saturation a little bit and after that i'll go to the camera calibration here is the primary rate i will work with it yes this is the difference between the previous and the present okay i'll keep like that that's good and the hue you can work with it primary blue like that that's good okay from the hsl option i'll reduce the just a green saturation a little bit okay luminance i'll down make it down the model with prominent here but not too much down just because of red color will be uh, more prominent uh, than the other one okay from the uh, tone curve i'm using the point options and just select here and select here okay and just make it like that okay and hit the okay button okay let's see the previous one and the after one after that i'll go to the selective just selective color i'll work with the green color and from the rgb rgb and here is the uh, other options now when you are counting the rgb 
R and C M Y C M Y R G B and uh, the one is opposite to others that means um, now when you are getting the RGB R for red and you are getting uh, the just opposite one is C and G and you are getting a magenta magenta if you work with magenta uh, you will get the green color okay and I'm making like that okay that's good and you're getting a change of the green like that that's good after that uh, I'll go to the adjustment layer and color lookup option from the color lookup option I will use the horror blue color and I'll get the opacity down of the horror blue like that I want to get it in a vintage effect that's why I'm just doing like that okay selecting all the things making it group making it march after making it march I'll go to the filter and I'll go to the uh, Nick collection color effects pro from the color effects pro I'll add some uh, just effects little effects I'm going to the panel in the nature from the nature uh, I'll add the here is lots of filters you can detail like that okay you'll get more vignette over there dark control I think I will should go to the all and cross process options and here are all the uh, all different types of um, the just like the other filters okay use this filter and strength only 4% and hit the ok button okay you will get more amazing tone in your photo yes it's loading okay little bit just subtle change in your photo that's good okay selecting these two layer making it group making it march and making two copy and the I'm giving this layer D name rename this one and B B for dodge B for burn and turning off the D option and B option I'm selecting and making it skin blending mode uh, okay I'm doing this one for the shadow and highlighting options okay after brain, um, blending mode in a skin going to the blending options here is a slider you will slide this one and find out the highlighted area okay I'll got it and press the alter button and divide this one and adjust with the face color or other things you can edit this one by double clicking over there it will appear again and you can adjust this one okay and going to the mask option mask this one and image and apply image and hit the ok button after that select this D layer turn it on after that go to the blending mode in uh, multiply options in blending options from the blending option you will get the slider and slide this one and find out the highlighted or shadow area shadow area and press the alter button and adjust the shadow with the face and hit the ok button mask this one same process and going to the image and apply image in this case make it invert and hit the ok button after that select these two layer and group this one and mask the group go to the image and apply image image and apply image and just uncheck the invert option and hit ok okay you will get the subtle change okay <laughs> you are getting here the uh, before one was flat and now you are getting the highlighted and shadow area in the just uh, prominent way okay that's good after that select these two layer making it group making it merge after just doing that go to the gradient map from the gradient map choose this one violet and orange make the violet to the cyan okay and hit the ok button and hit ok again and make the options uh, soft light and just down the opacity 10% is good okay we'll get another change okay make it group make it merge after making it merge going to the filter again and camera filter from the camera filter here is a, a variance option I'll 
just decrease the variance minus 11 and I'm going to the curves making the curves in a green options and select here and you can just adjust the curve like that okay that's good and from the RGB option just select here and here okay after that I'm just making it like vignette just grammar and hit the okay button okay uh, let's see what was our previous and first one this one was our first image and now we are getting this one the prominent way you were just presenting your image in a professional way and the vintage look or outdoor portrait okay um, here is some uh, highlighted area which is uh, not necessary so that's why i'm going to the filter again and camera raw filter and i'll just adjust that uh, highlighted area like that the highlighted this one and i want to prominent the face color that's why face color is orange and i am just increasing the orange color but the saturation is uh, high that's why i'm going to the saturation of orange and decrease the saturation okay that's good uh, i'll increase the red uh, saturation and decrease the red luminance uh, the lipstick will be prominent okay and hit the okay button after that you are getting another change in your photo this one is our tutorial okay uh, the previous one and the present one thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question or query please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friend okay till the next video i'm signing out and bye bye